Well, as you can see, the hose is missing to where I draw it. At the ends, there are the two nipples, and it's just missing a hose. Hey, everybody. So we are here. Uh, they've been working really hard. Okay. Let's check. Let me check. All right. Any leak? No, it's tight. Check it. <coughs> Press it. You see? Put pressure everywhere. So we need about three more gallons? No, no, it's gonna come back. So oh, you we'll pushed. Put the, put the pressure in. Yeah. To check if there's a leak. How about the leak down there? No, we already put a new pot. Yeah, it's not leaking. Yeah. You wanna make sure you, you get home. Where you going, you don't waste time. You know, that's how people, you know, waste time, lose money. Yeah. You know? Okay, so what is the name of your business here? This is a, uh, this is MTC Truck and Trailer Repair. Okay. Yeah. Uh, can I, do you have a business card so uh, I can show we, them? We are new. We are just launching a business. That's uh -huh. why you see everything is still empty. And uh, it's, 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 uh, <clears throat> this has been my vision and my dream. Because I've been a trucker for like 10 years. Okay. Yeah. And uh, through experience and breakdowns around, all over the road, and I lost a lot of money, I started fixing my own truck. And I had that gave me a passion to go to school because I saw if I can fix it, let me put more knowledge so I can take care of my stuff. So I kept on doing this, and I was like, you know what? Let me because I when you go to the shop, so many shops, they don't they don't just they just fix what you what you what, what what you tell them. But if they see something, they don't tell you. So again, you break down and you sure. break down. So I'm trying to I'm trying to come in and put the dots to make a line to break that gap because so everybody can make money. Sure. If the shop make money, the truckers make money, the owner of the business make money. But always, most, it has been one-sided. Most shop don't do that. No, yeah, they don't always care. it's been one-sided. If a driver come and tell me, hey, I have a problem with the brake shoes. Before he leaves, I'll make sure I check all his brakes. So if there's another problem on the brake, I'll tell him. Yeah. Because it's cheaper to fix it at the shop than to fix it on the road. Fix it on the road. Yeah. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So this has been, uh, one time I had a truck and uh, I never knew. I had a seal leaking on a drive shaft, on a, on, a, uh, on a drive shaft at the end on the differential where it's connected. It was a seal leaking. I was still new, so I was like, I thought it was expensive to fix it. And it was just a seal. The seal was like maybe 100 bucks. So I kept on just driving, driving, driving. You know, one time it broke down in Nevada. Man, I spent like $4,000. It was, I had to ship a differential from another place. I had to, because it was, if I would have fixed it there, it was, <clears throat> it would be more expensive. So I had to go online and look for a differential or something cheap, and I had to take it there myself. And the only, the, the, how much I spent there was like 3500 for the labor. Ah, that's crazy. So, I, this is, so, me it's going through all these i've come to realize you can avoid them if you get somebody who really advise you because i don't expect drivers to go down there i don't expect you know it's you don't have you don't even have time you don't want to get daddy yeah. so if you get to a shop that really cares and you go there and you say hey i need have a a break uh break issue or i have a leak on the on your on your cooler if they are interested, they can check other stuff, just to check. They don't most shop a, don't even do they that. They don't have even to charge you to check. And most most mechanic, like mechanic in the, the popular chain, they don't yeah, know what they're most doing. Of the, that's the same thing that happens to me. And they don't do it for free. Most, it, no, something. they will not do it. Yeah. If you tell them, can you inspect my truck? They want to charge you. Yeah. But I feel for me, I, I prefer checking for somebody and tell them that, you know what? You have a crack on this and you better fix it sure you know what i'm saying so so that when they go and one day they come back 
they will always remember. Nowadays, I don't break down. And that's how you can make money. Because man, you only lose money most of the time in breaking down. I will, uh, I will give you uh, a review on the Google, and I will get the address and put it in a, in the video so you can see it. But you have to subscribe to my channel so I you can see it. I will subscribe to your channel. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm already doing hey, my uh, website phone. too. Get your phone, man. By the way, website. this is yeah. this is Jason. Yeah, I'm Jason. I'm Ed Believe Jones. it or not, he yeah. is he is a nurse. Yeah, for real. I'm nurse, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so. I'm going to and that's come trucker. Nah, nah, I'm, 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 I want to change and do trucking. You know. Yeah. And uh, this guy, by the way, I met him. Uh, we met when last yeah. week, last Sunday, and he's trying to train me on yeah. flat base. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah. Put more pressure. You saw another leak? Yeah, man. Just, just more pressure. Yeah. So we need to make sure that because the funny thing is this: when you put something new. Then it, it, you you find like now it, the other one is trying to get a is trying to get a a, a, a a weak point. Yeah. Because yeah. you know these things wear out. They wear out. They wear out. The good news is I'm on my way to the shop in Maryland, mm -hmm. so they're gonna have the brakes changed. I'm gonna have them check all the lines, maybe yeah. new hose. So check the. Uh, that's what they need to do. What do you see there? And which area? Can they give him a flashlight? Well, as you can see, they have a very big open space here. That can fit a lot of trucks yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where can you go wrong with service like that? We'll catch you later. Peace. All right, folks, there it is. Yes, it's finally fixed. Pretty nice job. We'll catch you later. All right, everybody. Uh, we are finally all situated, got fixed. Resuming our destination to the shop. 1,325 miles Oh Oh boy uh, It's I gotta tell you guys something Jeez what is that That's the gate Somebody ran over the gate. Remember earlier I said, uh, why did I break down? Maybe God was sparing me from a horrific accident. Hey. Right? So I go in there. And uh, these guys are just, these guys just bent backwards just to help me. They were all over my truck. They, uh, 
they did not get lazy. They just right went to it, took care of biz business. The longest time to get it all fixed up was to go get parts and to get more uh, coolant because they apparently they did not buy enough coolant and as the big guy said they're just starting out so they're not really equipped yet but anyway I go in there and I start talking to Jason the Jason is the the nurse who got sick and tired of nursing and wanted to become a truck driver and so Jason asked me if I was a Christian and I said yes and he wanted to know certain things about Christianity and why certain religion of Christianity seems to do contrary to what the Bible teaches. And I was, I tell you, I did not, I did not seek out anybody to share with, but Jason was interested. And so when I shared to him the gospel and tried to explain to him Christianity, he was very uh, eager to listen. He welcomed my explanation. And then he said, hey, maybe you are, maybe, maybe I am the reason that you are here. And I was, I was shocked, really. But I was very, very happily shocked. I'll never forget when he said, maybe I'm the reason that you are here. So anyway, I shared to him the gospel. I shared to him uh, John MacArthur's teaching, Pastor David Jeremiah, and uh, Adrian Rogers. And I also told them to start listening to the book of John on audiobook he said he grew up in Africa listening to kind of the wrong people I suppose you could say you know as Christians there are a fewer better days than to be able to share the gospel of Jesus Christ to someone who is willing to listen. Remember where it says, he who has an ear, let him hear. flashing lights do you guys need? Are they controlled? 
controlling the lights or not? I am extremely tired. My goal right now is to find the nearest place to park and go to sleep. Everybody, John, have you got here? Good morning, or yeah, good afternoon. Greetings from Sulphur Springs, Texas. Spend the night here at Walmart, and I was uh, pleasantly surprised that nobody bothered me. I waited for a parking lot. I waited for a parking space. Over there at the uh, Love's truck stop and also the Pilot truck stop. Just about five miles down the road. I waited for like an hour and nothing. So I came over here and I'm glad I did. Anyway, as you can see, this video has been uh, requested that I do some... Uh, Change, gear changing without the clutch or with the clutch or floating gears but anyway however you label it however you uh, title it I had three cameras no one two yeah three I got three cameras running the purpose of this video is to show off my lousy shifting ability. Uh, I do not recommend you guys doing this. It's a really bad habit. so let's do this let's try to shift with the clutch I don't know if I can do that or not. I really wanted to do one more camera and that is to put it on the, uh, the instrument panels here so you can see the speed the RPM when to change gears, when not to change gears. Ah, I realize I'm not really the best at this. A long haul Eric can show this like flawlessly, but well, he's a professional truck driver. I'm a professional steering holder. <laughs> steering wheel holder. So. There you go. One of the very nice things that I like about this feature of this truck is that when you, which there are two things, 
there are two features in this truck system that I really like. One is that when you put the Jake brake on, your brake lights go up. Uh, there we go. I guess I can't change gear and talk at the same time. <laughs> When you change gear, or when you go down the road and you put your Jake brake on, the brake lights on the trailer actually activates. I like that, I really do. I have never been into a, other trucks out there, not even Grace. Grace doesn't do that. When you put the Jake brake on, the people behind you don't know you're slowing down. So I gotta like that. Okay, so another feature which is really amazing to me See, I can shift gears a lot better without the clutch. One of the best features that I really like is if you put the cruise control on. Now let's, let's not talk about this truck particularly yet. So you'll get a contrast of what I'm trying to say. Any other vehicle out there, whether it's a car or a big truck, any time that the cruise control is engaged anytime you put the the tap on the brakes and you or you tap the clutch the cruise control cancels at every vehicle I've ever been into does that except this one this one if you put the cruise control and you downshift or upshift, as long as you don't hit the brakes, as long as you don't hit the brakes, you can change gear and the cruise control will not uh, cancel. So I'm at 72 miles per hour right now, right? Watch this. I'll purposely slow down. Okay, I'm doing 65 now, okay? Then I hit the cruise control, right? No, no. Yeah, I hit the cruise control, right? Cruise control is on. Now I'm going to upshift or downshift. What am I saying? Yeah, when I downshift, right now I'm on night gear. I'm going to upshift now, right? Without touching the, re-engaging the uh, cruise control, it's now automatically going back to 72 miles per hour on the cruise control. And I don't have to re-engage the cruise control all the time. I like that. Really do. And let's say, let's say I'm going up a hill. And from 72 miles an hour, I'm going up the hill, it's the cruise control is over, the speed is going to drop. Now you have to downshift, right? From from the 10th gear to 9th gear, you're going to downshift and now the cruise control will 
once again engaged, but the speed limit on the cruise control it will change to I think 60, 66 miles per hour. What I'm trying to say is when you downshift it's not going to try to reach 72 miles an hour because there's a limit of how high or how, how fast the RPM is going to go and simply saying is you don't risk of over revving your engine. I don't know if I couldn't pay that. I'm a little confused myself, but yeah. Oh, we gotta go. We gotta kick some gears here. Pretty soon. All right, so we are continuing our journey to the yard in Frederick, Maryland, 1,227 miles. It looks like they did a really good job on that uh, the Pixar upper kind of a deal down there. Once again, a shout out to Austin. There you go. <laughs> hey, Austin. Later. 